berikutnya misalnya kita durasi tampilnya kita pendek dari 5 detik menjadi 3 detik ini kita atur sesuai dengan narasi atau sesuai dengan yang telah kita persiapkan ini dalam videonya juga belum full memenuhi ruang yang kosong kita perlebar sama dengan cara menampilkan atau melebar gambar sehingga tidak terdapat ruang kosong dalam video yang kita buat ini belum pas kita pasang lagi kita coba jalankan ini video kemudian kita akan kita geser ke depan lagi panel preview-nya kita coba jalankan kita lihat transisinya masih biasa pergantian antar potongan video ini masih polos ya kita pilih menu transisi kemudian di sana ditawarkan berapa model transisi transisi maksudnya ada flip void, flow, fade dan sebagainya misalnya kita ambil kita tarik salah satu ada flip masa atau durasi transisinya pun bisa kita ubah bisa kita perlu ini lihat perubahannya seperti itu kita perlebar so transisi kita klik bisa uh, seandainya kita ganti seperti itu kita delete saja di kanan terus delete sekarang kita ganti yang fit ganti yang transisinya kita durasinya diperpanjang durasi transisi dari gambar satu ke gambar yang, yang lain atau dari video satu ke video yang lain berikutnya kita taruh di sela-sela di antara dua potongan transisi ini tidak dapat diletakkan pada potongan yang pertama paling depan tetapi pada potongan kedua dan berikutnya nanti kita coba kita lihat hasilnya perbedaan transisi sebelum dan sebelum kita beri transisi dengan transisi polos tadi maka akan terdapat variasi yang semakin berindah video kita ini kita terus jalankan kita cari bagian-bagian video yang akan kita potong atau kita tidak gunakan ini mengenai video yang tampil kita bisa mengaturnya bagian mana yang mau kita potong kita buang karena tidak dibutuhkan atau karena kita ingin durasi video yang lebih pendek kita klik split ya kemudian kita klik delete ya. atau tombol delete pada keyboard kita coba jalankan lagi kemudian kita cari lagi bagian-bagian yang mau dipotong baik di tengah maupun di awal kemudian audio suara asli misalnya kita tidak menghendakinya bisa di silent 
13. So those are my f my first four terms of the sequence. Atau di volume down. Nah, ini volume yang diturunkan. Sekedar diturunkan. It's more like a function. Um, let's try this next one. It says, write the first four terms of this other sequence. So same kind of thing. Yeah, I'm going to go, I'm going to substitute a th uh, one in. So I'll, I'll find out what happens when n equals one. Baik. I'll do the same when n equals two, and then n equals three. Terus mencari, kita jalankan bagian mana yang akan kita potong, kita buang. But what I'm substituting into is this guy, That's me when I replace the n with one. And then I'll become three plus two, which is five. So there's my first answer. The first term of this sequence is five. And then I'm substituting two in for n, so it's three times two plus two which is 6 plus 2 or 8 okay and then the third term now I'm substituting n, or 3 in for n that's 3 times 3 plus 2 which nah, is ini. 9 plus 2 nah ini bagian di sini mau kita potong kita okay, nyalakan sampai biru kemudian so klik split pastikan bahwa video yang akan kita potong gambar atau video atau suara aktifkan sampai warna biru ya yeah. So kita cari bagian yang tidak five, diinginkan yang mau dibuang sini ya kita bisa you know, menggunakan it, it tombol bagian ini misalnya kita hapus sehingga kita menyisakan potongan-potongan baik gambar maupun video yang sudah jadi uh, atau yang ingin kita putar kita bisa melihat berapa durasi video tersebut berapa menit uh, dalam timeline ini This one looks pretty complicated, nah, but ini. still, it's the first four terms, so we want to find, find out what happens when n equals one. We'll see if we uh, one for n, and then we'll see what happens when n equals two. Suara, and then n equals three. Suara kita. And you know, if they had said, just find the first three terms, we'd be done with that one. Terms, so do kita klik voice narration, five, then I need to substitute a start five, recording. Kita I mulai mengisi suara video kita. Kita jalankan. Kemudian kita mengisi sesuai dengan posisi gambar. Saudara-saudara, marilah kita melihat keindahan alam Indonesia. Alam Indonesia yang begitu indah. Kita wajib bersyukur dengan cara melestarikannya. Supaya alam ini tetap indah menjadi kediaman bagi kita juga para satwa dan juga menjaga agar fauna dan flora tidak punah Nah, kita juga bisa memberi efek-efek suara kita stop kalau sudah selesai stop recording kemudian kita simpan uh, file suara hasil narasi kita misalnya kita beri nama record 1 kemudian klik save akan otomatis tampil di track timeline ini ini hasil rekamannya kita bisa menggeser-geser Uh, narasi audio so ini kind of ke tempat kind of atau posisi yang sesuai dengan video uh, narasi video ini three. bisa juga kita see, potong one, kita buang bagian-bagian tertentu sama seperti kita ketika kita memotong gambar atau memotong so video kita geser ke depan kita bawa ke awal sekarang kita akan belajar untuk memberikan semacam animasi ya. uh, ini kita memotong animasi pada video yang berupa gambar sehingga seolah-olah menjadi lebih hidup kita klik pada zoom and pen kemudian kita bagian zoom yang kita inginkan kita 
Letakkan posisi you know, Nah ini kita geser just, just so you know, Durasi zoom nya Gerakan zoom nya itu Gerakan Zoom nya menjadi cepat atau lambat Kita coba putar Seperti ini Nah ini menjadi lebih hidup lagi kita yeah. juga bisa mengarahkan pada titik-titik tertentu yang ingin kita zoom ini kita akan menambahkan teks atau properti seperti shapes dan sebagainya kita pilih T teks ya kemudian tampil di sini teks akan ditampilkan di track tiga kita ketik teksnya sesuai dengan isi video yang kita buat misalnya ini sebagai judul keindahan alam Indonesia kita atur mengenai besar huruf kecilnya huruf baiknya lebih besar kemudian warnanya juga kita bisa mengaturnya Misalnya kita mengendaki warna tablok dulu ya. Tablok, kemudian warna merah atau warna putih Supaya tetap serasi dengan belakang ya. Belakangnya putih, kemudian kita beri warna putih dan tidak kelihatan Jadi Kalau putih, beri warna yang lebih terang, gelap Akan terbaca, nah ini contohnya kita bisa mengatur posisi teks yang ingin kita tampilkan di sebelah mana Kemudian kita geser-geser Jenis fontnya juga bisa dipilih Tapi jangan lupa untuk di blok dulu teksnya Kita geser awal mulai tampil di mana teks tersebut kita atur posisinya dengan menggeser-geser pada teks di timeline atau di track ini hasilnya menjadi seperti ini menjadi tampil pelan-pelan tetapi kalau biasanya tampilnya cepat kita coba memutarnya So let's see, negative one to the third power is negative one times three plus three is six. So looks like negative six. Kita akan menyisipkan suara sebagai latar belakang atau background suara kita tempat. Sebelumnya ini kan kelihatan tracknya seolah-olah habis, padahal masih banyak. Bisa menambah kita ke sebelah kanan. Kita bisa klik tanda plus di atasnya ini untuk menambah track kemudian misalnya suara atau audio kita tempatkan di track 4 kita lihat dalam timeline uh, audionya lebih panjang dari video hingga kita bisa memotong musik atau audio ini pada posisi tertentu yang kita inginkan saya kita hanya ingin menampilkan audio juga sesuai dengan videonya jika video selesai maka audio juga selesai maka kita aktifkan sahabat tanda biru pada audio tersebut kemudian misalnya kita ingin membuang ya ini geser kita coba nah audio ini kita bisa atur fit in fit out nya supaya uh, masuknya itu lebih indah tidak langsung suara keras tapi juga fit out bisa kita aktifkan sehingga 
ketika selesai yeah, maka so by that, I mean, ending dari like itu jadi baik kita potong musiknya karena terlalu panjang kita buang bagian belakangnya jika masih lebih panjang dari videonya kita geser lagi Nah, kita juga menggunakan volume up atau volume down untuk memperkeras akselerasi. In this problem, then I find the first four terms, okay. Well, they already gave us the first term, A1, it's three. And then from there, the next terms are going to come Oops, from this uh, recursive formula. So this, just to kind of decode it, because it looks very confusing. The A sub N minus one, that means the previous term. So if you're on the nth term, the one right before that would be N minus one. The previous term is A sub N minus one. So okay, that basically this, um, This general term, the formula for it means to find a term. You take the ya, misalnya kita juga menambah teks lagi, baik di tengah maupun di belakang, term. kita bisa menambah uh, teks atau okay, call so out yang like berupa save. Mengandung background. Misalnya di sini sebagai endingnya kita tulis ucapan terima kasih sebetulnya like so pada teks kita kumpulkan dalam track tertentu sehingga menjadi and satu track khusus teks di minimal ada tiga track track untuk gambar dan videonya kemudian track untuk audio kemudian track untuk teks tapi nanti juga bisa text overlay text overlay berarti satu gambar di atas gambar yang lain sehingga membentuk jendela kecil ini hasilnya kita pada posisi akhir kita beri text ini kemudian Here, this is A1. He's going to go right there. And then we'll simplify that. Two times A1 is three. Because I was given that. That makes six plus five or eleven. So the first Coba term is eleven. Oh, sorry, the second term is eleven. We already knew the first term. Yeah. But now that we know the second term, that's A2. That's what we that's just stop. found. I'm going to replace that yeah, in to find the third term. Lagi. So really, you have to know every term to find the next successive term. So now it's A3 is going to be two times the previous guy we just found uh, is 11 kita dulu plus 5, so it's 22 save plus 5, that's 27, there's the third term. In order to find the fourth term, I would need to know the third term, so that guy is going to go right there with A3 went. That's what we just found, A3 was 27, so 2 times 27 is 54, plus 5 is 59. Yeah. So the first four terms, we were actually lucky we got back to this one. Four. Bila ada hal yang kurang pas, kalau kita tidak menyimpan proyek, maka kita tidak bisa melakukan editing lagi. Ya, kita simpan misalnya dengan nama latihan satu. Oke. Okay. Dan kita misalnya mengakhiri, nanti masih saya perkenalkan untuk cara produk and share-nya menjadi file misalnya mp4 atau file yang lain yang berupa ekstensi video nah, misalnya kita jalankan lagi untuk melanjutkan editing video kita ini ada tampil tombol start up bisa kita matikan tombol uh, dialog box start up ini dengan klik di, di pojok itu Kemudian kita buka proyek kita atau file pembuatan video yang terakhir yang ingin kita lanjutkan, open proyek. Kita cari pada lokasi folder mana kita simpan, open, maka akan menampilkan seperti keadaan semula terakhir kita edit. 
And whatever we get from that, that's the second term. Uh, and we'll need that to find the next term, A3. Maupun so A3 involves the previous one, which is A2. We take that guy, multiply by 2, and then add 3. Ini. And the very last one they want, because I think they only ask for 4 terms. A4 means I'm going to take the previous term, which was A3, multiply it by 2, and then add 3. Nah, kemudian kita produk and share untuk membuat hasil akhir kita pilih bentuknya mp4 only up to 480 pixel ini untuk ukuran sedang kemudian untuk ukuran besar HD ini mp4 only up to ini 720 pixel Sekarang so kita pilih yang kualitas baru, next, kemudian kita pilih nama filenya, file videonya, foldernya di mana akan kita simpan, harus kita ingat, jangan sampai setelah menyimpan, bingung mencari di folder mana, kita, kita menggunakan fasilitas terus. Misalnya so nanti kita menyimpan pada folder khusus hasil editing atau video media pembelajaran. Ini kita tunggu sampai proses rendering sampai 100%. Sampai 100%. Kita harus bicarakan tentang Dia akan tampil otomatis untuk pertama kalinya bila di laptop kita sudah terinstall video player. Kita klik finish, jangan lupa ada tampil dialog box finish. Ini hasil akhir yang video yang telah kita buat. Yang merupakan penggabungan antara gambar dan video yang telah ada, kita potong-potong, kita hilangkan suaranya, kita ganti background musik atau background suara atau suara efek-efek yang kita inginkan. Ya, kita simpan. Ini hasilnya. So, I mean, maybe just to make it make more sense, let's say I'm going to do a specific, specific, yeah, specific example. How about if I wanted to know five nah, factorial? Kita ke well, that would mean I would take five and multiply him by all the smaller natural numbers. So it's smaller than five, four. Demikian, menjadi pelatihan kita. Semoga bermanfaat untuk membuat media pembelajaran bagi Bapak Ibu Guru. Salam. The negatives are not part of the natural numbers. Okay, and then your job is just to simplify that, multiply them all out. Let's see, 5 times 4 is 20, 20 times 3 is 60, 60 times 2 is 120, and then of course 120 times 1 is still 120. So that means just, you know, just to summarize, 5 factorial is 120. And that's because 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is 120. So hopefully that'll make these problems make a little more sense. So this, no, these are no longer recursive formulas, we're kind of back to the first objective. Or if I want to find the first term, I substitute a 1 in there, so it'll be n to the second power, which is 1 to the second power over 1 factorial. Um, but 1 to the second power is just 1. And then 1 factorial, that means I take 1 and multiply it by all the natural numbers, but there are no natural numbers. So one factorial is pretty much Some technologies can significantly one simplify one road one construction one. and extend its lifespan. Term, Among them is GeoWeb. It's a two-dimensional or three-dimensional net made of strips of polyester or polyethylene fabric. By stretching the grid on the ground in front of the asphalt, a stable frame is formed. The spaces are filled with soil, gravel or sand, and then the asphalt is laid from the top. This technology is widely used in road and rail construction. Due to the fact that the weight load is distributed more evenly, cracks in the road surface are reduced. 
but four over two is This significantly increases the time between repairs. GeoWeb reinforces the base of the road, stabilizing the terrain. The use of GeoWebs in places with weak bases makes it possible to build roads in places where, at first glance, it seems impossible. Smart crossing. To reduce the number of pedestrian traffic accidents on UK roads, it was decided to use the modern smart crossing technology. It was first tested in the streets of London on October the 5th, 2017. Special cameras are hung on the roads to identify people, cyclists and cars, analyzing and tracking their movements. The road has special panels that react instantly to the movements of people, creating additional pedestrian paths, warning drivers. If a person accidentally strays off the pedestrian walkway and enters the road, a luminous area forms that attracts the attention of drivers, allowing them to stop their car in time. Intuitive road lighting with different colors also helps to remind you of road rules. Rumble strips. Many traffic accidents occur every year because drivers are distracted from the road or fall asleep behind the wheel. Rumble strip technology can solve this problem and significantly reduce the number of accidents. These furrows on the road are located on the dividing strip and in front of the road. The depth of the grooves, as well as the distance between them, are adjusted in such a way that the car starts to vibrate and produces a loud sound, warning the driver. This technology was used for the first time on Minnesota's highways. The reduction in accidents proved effective. Overall, the number of accidents decreased by 29%. The number of fatal accidents decreased by 51%. It should be noted that rumble strips not only save lives, but it's also an economic system. In the coming years, a similar system of slots will be installed on an even greater number of new or upgraded roads, where the speed limit is 88 kilometers per hour or more. Dancing traffic light. Researchers have shown that people don't like to wait, and that very often, traffic accidents occur when pedestrians try to cross the street with the red light. The task of the creators of the dancing traffic light was to cheer up the pedestrians and make the waiting less boring. When the red man at the traffic light suddenly starts dancing, people's attention are... 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 20 over, let's see, 4 times 3 is 12, times 2 is 24, times 1 is still 24. 20 over 24 reduces to 5, 6. There we go. And then the last guy, they only wanted 4, so now I have to replace... Drawn to him and they stop to look. However, this little man's dance moves are not a recording. Near the traffic lights, there's a special booth where anyone can enter and dance to the music. A special program captures the dance moves, records them, and then, in real time, transmits them to the traffic light. In total, 81% more people stop at the crosswalk and wait for the green light to appear. Okay, we got, what is it? 10, 10 thirds, 5, 6, 10, 10 thirds, 5, 6, and 1, 6. So there's our answer. The first four terms of the sequence. It's kind of weird, huh? The factorial thing. Okay. The installation okay. of tactile so plates in the city streets makes the movement of blind and visually impaired people simpler on. and safer. These plates have a very different policy, appearance. Right? The differences, which may seem insignificant to the average person, are in fact of great okay, importance. Yeah, just to, I don't know, phrase it in a way that's easy to, to get, because sometimes math books phrase it in a really weird way. Each element in the pathway is related to a certain pattern, which gives the blind person information about what is in front of them. 
For example, a trellis with parallel joints to each other means that there's an inclined curve and a pedestrian crossing ahead. If the grid is red, people with visual impairment can distinguish the basic colors. Traffic stops at the press of a special button. First, the grids are installed in a narrow strip to indicate the approach to the crosswalk. In front of the road, the number of grids increases, showing the size of the pedestrian route, as well as the start and the end. Grating with beveled points is used on railway platforms. The lines on the other side of the road point to a staircase or steps in front of you. Lines along the road mark a safe way to move around. Intelligent speed bumps. The disadvantage of speed reducers um, is that even if the driver slows down to cross, the there is a jolt and the car receives a small like but additional load. Of, you know, find the first Smart order. speed reducers well, that don't case, have that problem. The secret is a special filling. The liquid that's placed inside the speed producer contains solid particles that react to pressure. If the car passes through such a structure at low speed, the filling remains liquid and the reducer bends under the weight of the car without causing excessive shaking. However, if the car doing personal videos or uploading to YouTube, so so this tutorial will go through the basics of using Filmora 9. I'll timestamp everything down below so you can jump around to different parts. And so just take a look at the description for those. And plus I'll add the link to Filmora down below too so you can go to the site and check it out. So let's get started on this tutorial today uh, with Filmora 9. So the fifth term should be the last one I find. So I'm just going to start right up. away opening up Filmora 9. And, then the, uh, and you can see I'll be working out of this video, video folder with video assets and media assets ahead. that I have down below here. When Filmora opens up, it so will weird, prompt you, know, you to create a new project or it will said, also show you uh, uh, a list of different ones that you have saved before. So like for this one, I could open this up or you could open other projects by looking. I'm going to just hit new project for the example today. You can see how Filmora 9 just pops open. Uh, right away, uh, so before I go on, I'm using Windows 10 today, but if you're uh, yeah, on other operating systems such as Mac, Filmora 9 will also work. I'm going to import my uh, my media right away. So just by mm -hmm. clicking on this yeah. one, it's going to open up to Terms. a folder uh, that I can find. So I know in this uh, case, I'm going to be on my desktop and I should have a Filmora folder the right, right there. I could bring symbol, one yeah. media, so uh, one video in at a time and hit open and you can see how it goes in here. Or or I could bring multiple ones. Well, so if I right click we now them, and go to uh, view, I could go to, oops, sorry, <laughs> import, uh, and I could bring more in so I could select answer. multiple ones so it's and like hit a open. I have to find the terms that they want and another way I could do it so would be go to file I and you can see a, under the, so the uh, all the file term. menus, all I'll the different things. So do check out all the different options you have up there too, but import media. And let's say I wanted to bring in the rest of these so you can see all the different ones I brought in. To take a quick look, Notice that the icon in the top answer. right hand corner, this shows okay. that it's video. Let's go ahead. This one shows that it's an image so and this one shows that six. it is audio. Let's I can take a different kind of uh, look at this. I didn't want these thumbnails, large thumbnails. I can and, click yeah, just, here just to reiterate, and go to a different view. Let's say I want the list view just with the names and size of everything. Or I could switch to a different view with the thumbnail size. For the tutorial today, I'm going to be using the large thumbnail view. Now that I've got everything thing in uh, I always like to save things right seven. away as you start like as I start okay, from the very the beginning so just go two. up here file and now they want save to project term, which and in this you can see I have example um, video here so I'm just going to call this uh, tutorial okay, here two to the fourth power minus and go ahead and here. hit save and then as I go along fourth, and work on it, I'll just be able to save the project as I uh, go through it. So right, just in case something term. crashes on you, uh, you can be backed up that way. Want, well, now, I want to bring things quickly term. down Actually, to my timeline. Filmora makes it very easy again. to do this. Third, if I just fourth, hover over, five, I can hit the plus right away, and it's going to bring it down. It's saying that this isn't matching the settings, and I'm just going to say match to media on this one. And you can see it got brought down. 
in this case here, there's audio underneath right. it. So the and very if last I drag step, this be, back, you know, I can the, hear the it's going to be a bit of the waves. The, a, a series means you're going to add these guys together. And I have uh, just a video Let's on see, top. If you don't want it, 12, you could go ahead and hit delete and it's gone. Uh, the other thing is you can view so any of these videos just by double clicking on them without bringing them down to the timeline. So I, you can just do it here if you want to see what each one is. Go ahead and just double click on it and you can listen to the audio doing the same way and whatever you get, you now i'm going to bring so this back down i hit the plus the first time you could so just drag if you wanted to also so if you want to drag your videos down you can do this uh, and the other thing is you can zoom up and zoom um, out on it depending on how when you're working on it so if you want to say zoom up on a specific part to get closer you can see as i increase it this way or bring it back the other way i can also just say fit to the screen so it's going to go across uh, the timeline in just that the simple click to first, it. I can also uh, just drag in here so through. inside the timeline just click and hold on your mouse the, and you can see how I can adjust it in a hurry okay, so like that. So let's bring in some more videos. So I get the, the one video part. down below here. Uh, I want to bring in a second one uh, and notice that where I have the playhead over here at the beginning. Well, if I and, hit know, the plus now, that's like where the next uh, video times, gets put into it, so it gets, puts it in front of it. But of so times, if I, I'm going to zoom out so you can see this, more, and I'm going to bring this uh, to end, over to here, K. and if I hit this while, next J one, I, you notice there's a gap between it, because that's where I had it listed, and that's where it's going to go. So you can set up your playhead, then hit the plus, and then it's going to go to that spot. If you wanted to get rid of this gap, all you have to do is just simply drag over, and it's going to snap uh, two, snap to it guy. like so I can bring in uh, multiple four, things too five. so if I wanted to let's say um, bring these three things in so this is audio and I have an image and I also and have three, three, another video I'm gonna bring these three things in at once be, I'm gonna just drag them down one first. It'll be a one and you see there's the image and then there's the other video and the audio here so if I play it see what that becomes that would be a like one so. So if you did want to bring everything scores, down at five, once, so uh, five, it's very five. easy to do just by selecting like them. The first term, now that you've brought things down, you secondly, can move things around very quickly. If I wanted this to be in a different order, just cases. select it and so grab it and drag it, and you can move things four. around to get in the exact order that you want. You can create six, new tracks very easy. Uh, just drag okay, things up. It actually already created the one when I brought in the other video, but if I wanted another third track, you can see it creates them right on four. the side here. So if you do like working Which in the multiple tracks seven. and uh, keeping sort of your videos, uh, that's the way I like to do it. Oh, but uh, you can just drag them up and it will automatically create. Our or you can term, hit the uh, plus here and you'll see four. the option that's at video track, at audio track, right through here. So that's how you can that's quickly kind of bring in uh, your, uh, your audio, your video, your pictures into this and just start sorting things right, out on your timeline. A sub 5 means I'm replacing So let's start some basic uh, editing five. here. I'm going to go ahead and so bring one of the videos, uh, this one, I'm just going to hit four. the plus and bring it down to my video nine. 1 track. And I'm going to do some trimming on this one. So different ways okay. I can do this. This is about step, 26 kind of seconds long, this one. This, so let's say the there's something on the sorry, end that I don't want. Found, what I can do is if I bring my mouse to this, I can drag in and trim guys, the end off of it. So I can also do this also uh, from the other side. I could drag it in. So I've cut from the from the one end, the end of it, and also from the beginning. So if you want to trim that, it's very easy. Now, another thing to remember is is the undo button right over here if you've done some editing and realize you don't want it just go ahead and hit the undo you also have your redo uh, here too uh, the other way I like to do edit I could go and maybe if I knew it was there the other piece I could go ahead and clip it now I have this piece here you can see as I drag it up so I, don't know. I could do this delete this one, one. so if there was some it. editing that you filmed and you wanted to cut something out in the middle so and then bring your two video clips together like so. 
and then it would just okay, have that okay, part out of it. So you can do some really quick editing there. Different. Now I'm just going to go ahead and uh, delete and these two. So this, I've like selected said, all, both of them. I'm going to bring in this uh, teacher's five, tech uh, intro that really I matter, use here. I'm going to match to media. I mean, and when I hit play, you can see it's very slow. And so I need to adjust the time on this one. And there's also the speed right here. So if I go ahead and I could go slow, do I want to Faster. I'm going to go now, to this, uh, this custom kind of speed series. here and I'm going to just drag it. So if I want it Our to be, uh, be to you can the see right if I want it to be faster, I want this to be about three seconds symbol. here. So, so I could increase in this, this case, like the very uh, case. We'll use a to, to get it to the point where I want it to. So maybe no I'll, I'm just going to put, sequence. I'm just going to click in here and actually put a number in. So I'm going to put six in here. If I don't like that, I could, maybe I'm going to go five. The answer is always going to be three. So now it's about two seconds long, so I'm going to go four. And you can see how I can adjust it and start getting the way I want it to. So there's my three seconds. I'm just going to hit OK. Nothing clipped out of it, but what it did was speed it up. So if I go ahead and play this again, you can see it's running at a much faster pace. So those are some kind of the basic editing that you can do in Filmora. You can see how quick it is. Another thing that I'm going to show you is the crop tool. So if I go ahead and let's say take this video again that I was using and I want to zoom up on a certain area. So let's say these two people walking on the beach. This crop tool here, if I click on it, I can go ahead and pick an area. So if I just want to focus on them, I'm going to zoom up even more. And the aspect ratio, keep it the same. Same. So, so hit OK, like and two, then you notice it zoomed up. So now I can hit go ahead here. and hit play, and I'm zoomed right K. up. So that crop is a very the, um, easy tool to use, right just like all of these notation. between sim the simple editing the that you can do, so and then just lining up in, everything the way you want in the tracks that you have set up. So you can see how easy Filmora 9 is to edit in. I'm going to go A2 and then I'll find So A3. let's work with a little audio now. I'm, first of all, I'm going to drag or put this one down into A6. my timeline here. And, and this one I showed you before, it actually, you can see the audio that's attached all, to this I'm video and it's just the, the waves. So maybe together. you don't want that audio I mean, these, uh, to sound one, in the, uh, to play during it. So what you can do, if I it's right click on any of these clips, you're going to see that you have lots of different uh, options that you can do so with this. So I could mute this, but, but what I want to do is detach the audio. And the what it does is it takes it away from the video and puts it into the audio one soundtrack. So now what I can do at that point is just go ahead. If I didn't want that at all, let's say I'm going to put some music in, I can just go ahead and delete this. So it's very easy uh, just to uh, right click, detach see, the audio, and then delete it. Do like check out uh, all before, the features that you have that on your right screen, uh, on your right click on it. Uh, many of these features are going to be different ones that I show you, uh, but it's just a quick way to power. get them. And then you can look at all the shortcuts right beside, like uh, just down the right hand column. Now, if I was going to put in, I'm going to put in a few more videos here just to line things up. I'm going to put in some more audio here. I'll just snap that one close together. And move it and over here. So uh, the one thing I wanted to note when you're editing, if you drag it over terms. top, it actually clips away uh, the, the one video two, that you drag zero. it over top of. So you zero can see I brought it over one. top of it. You, now it's going to be uh, clipped one on that one. Now zero I'm going to bring in audio. You one. saw me bring one in one audio one from zero. before. So I have this Wicked zero. Surf one. I can add it and it puts it down here below. Yeah. Uh, actually I want I this lined up so I'm going to drag it over again. And I'm just going to bring it back to here and play. All right, so that's really loud. What I can do at that point is go over here to the audio mixer. If I click on it, uh, I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is uh, bring down. You can see all the different uh, ones that I have. I have that on audio one, so it's this one. So I can adjust each track uh, differently depending on how I want the uh, audio to sound. But this is much too loud here. Uh, so I'm gonna hit play from here. You can hear now. It's a lot quieter here. So maybe 
I want to bring it down. Maybe I just want it so subtle. You can also do the over the master one here, uh, which would uh, bring everything. So I'm just going to hit OK. Now if I hit play again, it's much quieter here. So that's how you can adjust some audio. Other things I want to note with the audio here would be just going up here. So I brought my own audio in here, but you can see that there's a lot of different ones here too. So if I go ahead and bring in, I'm just going to bring in this one. I'm not sure what it sounds like. And again, I drag, drug it down. I could have just hit the plus on it. So it's downloading the content because a lot of with Filmora, it, it connects and then downloads it. I'm going to delete this one right here and hit play. Because I think if you look at this, what they gave us here, it's And I have this audio in here. So there's lots of different together. options with the audio here. You can bring in your own or part, use what really uh, Filmora has for you too that you can uh, like bring in. They have lots of uh, good tunes that will help you with your video editing. Now, so that just shows you a little bit about the audio. Very simple to use, just like all the other Filmora aspects. So let's go ahead and add some titles now. I've already showed you audio that are here. If I move across, titles are right here. And they have this big list of different titles that you can look at. I'm just going to pick a simple one for this one this uh, right here, this preset. So if I go ahead and hit plus, it's going to add it to where my playhead is here. So if I hit plus, you can see it drums in right there. To see what this looks like, if I just rewind a bit, hit play, and you can see the title comes in. Now, I don't want it to say directed by Jane Doe, so what I'm going to do is just double click on this. So when I double click on this, I have the options to start editing. So right away, I want it to say something else, and I'll just say hello, and I'll go to the second line here check. and I'll just say everyone. I can change the uh, text on this quickly so if I go through you can see the long list I'll just change it to there I'll make sure you can see this as I change it and I can change the size of the font and you can see the other options that I have so if I go ahead and hit play now you can see it kind of grow through there I can also change the animation to this one so if I want it to you can kind of see the list if I find something I like I can go ahead and go to it if I want this one just double click on it and it's applying okay, no, that animation to, to it you can also go over here to the preset right, what, what and you have the, the list of colors here, I could change the color text spacing and these everything these down here but quickly I could what add this and I'll hit just OK yeah, it now. Like in this case, the base is and you can two, see so I have this new it's, it's, uh, changing, text that will like come up. Probably not the best one to use because it's so, uh, because it matches the colors and doesn't show up. So if I wanted to go to edit uh, here and change it to the with, yellow, I can make that change, hit OK. So now it's going to stand out, stand out a lot better to it. Yeah. So very quickly you can add those titles. You can move these I'm titles all around too. So if I didn't want it there, like I can drag no it to a different spot to it. I could one. move so it to a different layer. If you're looking even for more uh, different ones, uh, you can uh, go up here to the effects guy, store, click on that, and you can connect, and there's ones for free and ones you can purchase. I am going to do a little bit of a different video. I'm going to open this up just on the advanced features here where you can go through and add uh, a few more features to get it more exact, but I'll save that for a different time. So that's how you can add some text to your video very quickly and easily inside Filmora. One of the previous problems that we're Looking gonna... beside the titles, you're going to so find now, transitions, so right through here. Different. Where you're going to use transitions are between no different video clips or images that you have. Now, to do so, I'm going to select the clip that okay, I split one, one right here. Sorry, so I'm going to hit the plus, right, and you can see what it did. Try. It added the uh, transition more. to each end, and I'm going to show you how to modify plus. these two. So what does it look like? I'll just go plus. actually in between Negative these two right here, and I'll hit play. Oh, let's do it like this, yeah, squared. And hours. just like that. All now, you can go through and know. change Let's these. If I wanted to stretch, if I want a longer transition, yeah, I can stretch this out like okay. so. so. That was what was given. So pretend and like that was part play, of the problem. Sorry, I forgot, now it's going to be slower, longer transition. Okay. No, I can double click on this. So if I double click on this, I get some uh, options. So maybe well, I, I want it to be between the two clips. So if I go ahead like this and hit overlap, you can see now it moved in between the two clips. I can change my... My, uh, my timing right up here so if I wanted it shorter and I can also is, click apply to all uh, I'm just gonna leave it like this one right now hit okay now if I hit my 
That's what's uh, changing play. One, and you can see it right through three. here. I can go that's back and make my adjust it, adjustments call. through here if I wanted it shorter also. And you can also delete. I Maybe I don't want this front uh, transition like right here. And I go ahead and hit delete yeah. and I go through. So if I oh, wanted I to bring down good. more no, media, try. so if I was bringing down another one, one here, um, I can go ahead and... It will stop okay, when that ends. So I can grab the this ends of this and stretch kind of this idea. out here to be so longer. Like if I wanted to be the, the whole clip or different the parts of the clip, I can stretch it out that so way. That, that, you can so also double click on it the and then you can also so like adjust if you didn't want it to uh, maybe okay, uh, the alpha so powerful, you can hit it okay and then it will just have that slight look to it. Yeah, and you can delete any of these if you would like to or you can add, remember to have the clip open the if you want to preview it go ahead and double click three. if you like it and then add it the after term. that. Now down below, you also have your overlays. So overlays uh, will work on another term, layer so on top. So if I wanted to, for exactly example, to add terms. a frame to this, so you can see the all the different ones here. I could go through the list and try to find exactly so what like I want, but I'm just going to add, let's say this blue one right here. So I'm going to want it on this one. I can preview it again on it. So I'm going to double click on this one and actually I'm going to Watch, term, you can see it's loading up and then it's going to kind of preview this what I this might look like. I kind of if I like what I want, I'm going to move my playhead over the and then add it here. You come across homework and I've that, added, all you really have to do now is I'll hit play, I, so and I've added this frame I, to it. You can I. see it's a video frame too with the edges moving. The and again, one one I can stretch this yeah, out index, so it's okay. longer. So you well, can that see that these effects are very easy to add. You can go through, and again, like any of the other ones that I've showed you, you can go to the effect store and even get uh, yeah, more from so there. But go ahead and just start playing with these basic ones to add a lot of customization to, to your videos. Before we get to our exporting of our video, I just want to show you the elements features Maybe too. So this kind of works like eye. effects yep, here. It's the last part right, right here. Uh, you have these number of different things that you can bring over in a different square. layer. Uh, you can see like that you can go through the list and check them out through here. I just have it listed as all. And I'll just go through and show you. You. Uh, let's say I want to put the uh, this one I here. So I want to bring my playhead over here and I'm just going to hit the new one. Plus it's going to download